If variety is the spice of life in Tucson, the shopping opportunities are spicy indeed. And for those in search of the Hispanic or Native American flair of the region, a fantastic shop, gallery, or boutique is never far away. And if your time to explore is limited, the Visitor Center is a surefire way to find just the type of shopping and dining that you're looking for. The Tucson Museum of Art is here, and Old Town Artisans is here. What is this, Old Town Artisans? Old Town Artisans are 15 individual shops mm -hmm. that are indicative of our Southwest culture. This Fabulous. This sounds perfect. Yes. Also, I've got a list here. I wrote down a list of places I might like to eat dinner. Can you give me a recommendation on that list? Something affordable. Um, they're all good. Really? <laughs> Um, this is, this is very good. Uh, I hear that the dish is very good. I hear that they have a special. They have specials? Yeah. They have mussels Mussels, yeah. They're delicious. Oh, I'm all about the specials. It's mm -hmm. a midweek special. It's midweek? Well, this sounds like a great plan. I'm going to go shopping at Old Town Artisans in a wonderful walled city, and then I'm going to check out the dish for a midweek special and have a wonderful, tasty dinner. Thank you, too. Wonderful. wonderful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have fun. Old Town Artisans Marketplace is located in Tucson's historic El Presidio District. This adobe complex dates back to the mid-1800s and houses one of the most extensive collections of southwestern merchandise in the city. My melon is too big for the hat. This one fits. Look at this Oaxacan art. It's a huge display. Oh, all that shopping made me really hungry. It always does. <laughs> I can't wait to check out that midweek special. A departure from Tucson's vast array of incredible Mexican restaurants, the dish is an intimate American bistro that serves up a variety of eclectic dishes. The chic appetizer menu offers items such as seafood stuffed Anaheim chilies with avocado and creme fraiche and alluring entrees ranging from grilled New York steak with blue cheese and caramelized onions to pork tenderloin served with mashed potatoes and green beans. Oh, here's the bar special. It's Tuesday through Thursday at the bar, and it's the mussels that I liked with the saffron broth, and it comes with crispy bread and wine, $9.50. Unbelievable. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm just choosing my wine here. I've never heard of this onyx. What is onyx? that? It's a Spanish red wine. Uh -huh. It's a blend of Mouvedre and, and Grenache. Yeah, sounds great. So I'll try a, gra a glass of the onyx and a big bowl of mussels. Sounds great. Perfect. Again, it comes with a nice bread and butter. Right. Okay. Nine fifty. Unbelievable. While I sip my wine, back in the kitchen, the chef gets to work on my mussels. He starts by adding butter, diced tomatoes, garlic, and saffron broth. A few quick tosses, and they're ready to steam. Once the mussels have opened, the chef seasons them with a sprinkle of oregano and salt before plating. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. How gorgeous is this? I can't believe this is 950. A little lemon. Let's try this one. He's got lots of juice in him. Mm. Oh, yeah. The saffron is just right, not overpowering. The sauce is delicious, and the mussels are perfect. And to wash it all down, beautiful Spanish red wine. Mm. This mussel special really is special. Including tax and tip, my total comes to eleven sixty-five. I'm not even getting steamed worrying about my budget. I'm so happy I chatted up those locals. You know, otherwise I'd have missed this weeknight special, these fantastic flavors. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not shy. <laughs> After the break, I make a beeline to a haven for homemade desserts. Oh, wow. Come to mama. But will the joke be on me when I get the bill? The joker. How'd you know? <laughs> Stick around to find out.
Restaurants located near universities are often a bargain since they're trying to attract students on shoestring budgets. One of the most exciting centers of Tucson nightlife is found on 4th Avenue, which draws loads of college students from the nearby University of Arizona. Here there are plenty of places to live it up, grab a bite or a drink, or simply hang out. It's a beautiful menu here, but I've got like a sweet tooth going on. My friend Gloria said that while I was in Tucson, I absolutely had to check out this one restaurant that's down near the university. That's really cool because that's where this trolley car is going. <laughs> she said the food's great and affordable, but the desserts are killer. Thank you. With its fantastic 4th Avenue location, the B-Line is a fledgling eatery that is rapidly becoming one of the most popular new kids on the block. The affordable fare at the B-Line reflects the owner's personal affinity for such palate pleasers as burritos, Ready for tortilla. pasta, and of course, sweet treats. Oh, wow, come to mama. Ooh, pecan pie, everything looks so fresh and homemade. Oh, look at all the berries in this one. There's blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. Berry patch pie. That's a winner. I'm gonna try that. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing really well, because I think I'm about to have a piece of that berry patch pie. It's Excellent. Great, nice and fresh. Great. Okay, so how does this work? I pay you? You sure do. And we'll give you this card and bring it out to your table. The Joker. How'd you know? <laughs> All of the pies at the B Line are made fresh by pastry chef Catherine Wilkes, who likes to create updated variations of old-time favorites. To make her home-style filling for my berry patch pie, she mixes sugar, salt, oil, cornstarch, and butter. She then adds in big, fresh blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. The top crust goes on and it bakes. The outcome is one juicy, fruit-filled piece of heaven. Ooh. Here you Yummy. go. Perfect pie. Delicious. Enjoy. Man. I will. Wow, look at all the berries in there, huh? <laughs> Oh, that is very delicious, baby. That is so good. And the berries are really fresh. They're still just a little bit tart. And man, there is nothing like homemade crust. Nothing flakes like that. Mm. What a great way to end the day. But did I flake out on my budget? Nope. The price of my pie, including tax and tip, is $5.23, which means I came in 50 cents under my budget for the day. Now that's what I call sweet. Oh, you know, Tucson has been too fun. Great activities, great people, and the food has been amazing. I'm so sorry I'm out of time here. I'm Rachel Ray. Join me next time when we discover the food of a whole new destination for just $40 a day.